<laughs> Been very, very prepared for the early start this morning. We've got overnight bags, swimming okay. stuff. We've got outfit ready. Okay. Guys. Hot. Hot. It's just a bit warm. Mm. Ben. 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 Apple. No, no. No, no. No. Doing your makeup. Oh, lovely. Do you want to get your bag on? Bag. Pop pop. Who? Pop pop. Let's Okay. We're going. I'm just getting ready. What is it, Delilah? Go go. Go go. Go go. <laughs> Morning, guys. Quick hi and hello and intro to the vlog. Although I'm a little flustered this morning. Uh, only because Delilah got up a bit earlier than expected. I just needed an extra kind of 10, 15 minutes just to finish getting myself ready and then um, we would have been good to go. But then as you can imagine, once Delilah's woken up, everything takes a little bit longer to do because she's trying to unpack your suitcase for you and she's running around trying to jump on things and climb off things and jump off things and <laughs> makes life a little bit chaotic trying to uh, get yourself sorted. But it's half eight in the morning and we have managed to get a toddler ready, ourselves ready. We've packed her swimming bag. I mean, I did this. I did it last night. Last night, I packed her swimming bags. I packed her weekend bag for staying over at her grandparents because Doug and I, um, if you didn't know, we're going away to Oxford this weekend. And I thought I would film the whole weekend because in the past when I've gone away and thought I'm not going to vlog because I should probably not do any work and, and not film. I, I always end up really gutted that I haven't got any content and I haven't filmed any of the memories and I actually end up more upset that I haven't vlogged anything. So I'm bringing you guys along for the weekend. Um, I was going to do a weekend vlog but I think I'm going to do single days. So this is going to be part one of three Oxford trip vlogs. But anyway, yeah, we need to go. Um, I've got my coffee and my breakfast in my bag. We're going to take Delilah swimming now. <laughs> And then we're going to drop her off at Doug's parents and then we're going to head to Oxford. I'm a little bit conscious that this uh, top is quite see-through. But we're going to go with it. I need to put you guys down. I can't do a suitcase and coffee. Can you do swimming? Swimming. 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 So happy to be back here on Saturdays. It's just the nicest location to go swimming. It doesn't take Mimi, us long to get here. Mimi, it's just Mimi. nice to have our weekends back. It's lovely Mimi, and quiet Mimi. and sunny. Perfect weather. We couldn't have asked for better weather to go away, could we? No. This weekend. It's going to be like late 20s, sunny, lovely. What are you doing? You're such a fidget bum. Nana and Pops now. What? Yeah. Um, Babu. 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 And Nana. Nana. Get your finger what? out your nose. Pop. 
on my door. <laughs> Who's that knocking on my door? There we go. Can I have a kiss? You still have the, the relics in the chimney stacks. So uh, Add that. You know, Cuddle, you got your biscuit? Oh, no, you don't care. You've got your biscuit as well. Anyway, you know, you still have that. You're going to have a nice um, weekend. Recently, yeah. I guess, you know, You're going to be good for another one, Pops. It's still going yeah. on. Um, <laughs> radio is quite loud. Isn't that radio? Dropped off at a service station. I need food. All I've had is a punnet of blueberries and a naked bar this morning, and it is half eleven. I'm starving. Also need to get some um, hay fever tablets. I'm suffering so badly this summer. I never have hay fever, and um, it's really bad this week. And I can't stop sniffing, so I need something to stop it. This service station has a toast. I've not been to toast in so long, so I'm going to get something from here. I think. I'm just trying to decide what to have. I think I'm going to go for this super avocado Caesar with. I'm going to go for the flat one. There we go. I found some. Uh, probably just go for purities. I can't tell you how excited I am to eat this. I'm so hungry. That was successful. Got my tablets. Got coffee got sort of a late breakfast early brunch but we've booked we've booked in on the way here i was having a look at my phone and places we could, for places we could go eat and there was one place we wanted to go have dinner tonight at but um there was only one table available at half nine we booked in there to have lunch there um but we're not having lunch until about quarter to until about two so uh yeah because i've not had much breakfast this is gonna kind of be like my breakfast slash early lunch to keep me going until proper lunch also been super organized and i've made sure i've packed two two straws for both doug and i because i knew we'd be having at least you know one iced coffee because this is us okay. thanks you nicked my thingy though no sorry i'll move it i'll say it right we've got about how long have we got now? Just another hour and a half still. Yeah. Yeah, we've probably still got a good hour and a half until we get to Oxford. Mmm. We've got all that beautiful colour. We've barely left the services and we're already in traffic. We have arrived. Oh gosh, I can finally stretch my legs. Just parked up and we're gonna head over here and go grab some lunch. This is where we're going for lunch, the Cherwell boat house. Get a little punt. Huh? Yeah, we could go on a little punt. Yeah. Why not? We're in Oxford. We're here for a couple of days, which is nice because we feel like we don't need to cram everything in in one day and we'll have a full day here tomorrow. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> Well, this is a lovely, lovely restaurant. It actually would have been really nice to be here in the evening, but we should have booked earlier on this week, so there's no spaces. And tomorrow, we um, we already booked in uh, at a place called The Folly a couple of weeks ago, um, and we're going to be having their tasting menu. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. But it would have been lovely being here in the evening whilst the sun was setting, because you've got the, the lake right here. We're actually thinking um, that we're going to do a bit of punting here if there's... Um, it's not too much of a queue. We want to do it in the main city centre as well, but it'd be nice to do it here. It reminds me of Wind in the Willows. Doesn't this remind you of Wind in the Willows? With all the trees. It's lovely here. Even when we parked up, all the houses were absolutely gorgeous. Our food has just arrived. Doug and I went for the exact same thing. We got cake with bed of samphire and potatoes and lots of, lots of yum, lovely stuff. This is so good, but Doug's finished his, minus the leeks, don't like leeks do you? Yeah, well you were hungry, you didn't have like a huge wrap 
I know, I'm, I'm still eating, but this is, oh my gosh, so good. Now we're gonna have to try and find restaurants to top that. I feel like we started on a high, food-wise. I just met a few of you guys, or I don't think all of the girls watch my videos, but I know one of the girls did. Um, and it was really lovely to meet you guys, if you're watching this. Now we're queuing up to um, hire one of those boats behind us. We're gonna give Punton a go. Why not? We we're in Oxford. We never did it when we went to Cambridge. I don't know why. No. So yeah, we've got to make, really make up for it. Yeah. Punt, so how many people? One, two, uh, two. For one hour. You don't need to commit to a time. Just okay. leave a deposit, pay for the hire when you get back. Okay. okay. Uh, the deposit. I'm gonna go for the little paddle. I cannot be trusted with the big pole. This <laughs> dog's gonna be in charge of the pole. We need to find boat number 14. Yeah. Okay, we have lift off. Oh my gosh. It's quite busy, there were a lot of people. I feel like we're gonna go into the summer. You got it? Is that heavy? Uh, <laughs> oh, it's a duck. Hello. Do you need me to do anything with this? <laughs> uh oh. All right, just push the boat away. I'm happy as a clam. <laughs> Doug's doing all the work. <laughs> Getting a good arm workout. This is nice. It's very sunny. It's actually quite nice when the sun goes into the clouds. Because <laughs> other when you're in direct sunlight, it's like so hot. I'm so hot and sweaty. People have the right ideas. People are stopping and having picnics and pims and yeah, it's so peaceful. I could just, I could be here all day. It's gone into the uh, into the sides. Oh my gosh, dragonflies everywhere. I don't know if you can see them. This is these lovely blue dragonflies everywhere. Probably can't see them on camera. Oh my goodness. So we're heading back the other way now. Looks come to join me now. I'm just gonna chill out for a bit. We're gonna go under that. Anyway. Here we were. We we're literally going under now. God, I look so tired. I am tired. Didn't have much sleep, did we? No. Good. Punting. Mm. Oh, it's recording that. Oh, it's cute in the yeah, Yuck, yuck. Good little so insta. I know it's peaceful, isn't it? I kind of now know why people live on canal boat. Getting out of our little little cubby hole. I'm gonna brave having a little go, and um, yeah, then we're gonna head back. We're gonna well, we're gonna go pay for the hire of this, and then we're gonna hop in the car, have a is it like a 15 minute drive. 2015 minute. 2015 minute drive to our Airbnb, check in, uh, get ourselves kind of sorted and uh, settled in, and then we're going to head out again for dinner. I keep saying to myself, if I can lift a 40 kilo weight, I can do this. So you drop it in vertically, other way, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. That's it. So just drop it in completely. Let it drop. And when it hits the bottom, yeah. sort of push it back. What am I pushing? Against the bottom. So you're pushing against the bottom and sort of pushing the boat with your feet. it and then you lift you pull it back lift it up again
No, you can count it, so yeah. if you don't want to play, um, I think that would be... It is much harder than it looks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So just like drop it. I was just dropping it completely. So let it just drop. So then pull it back towards you, but still in the water. That's it. See? Oh, scared the ducks. Oh no, we're going into the bushes. Sit, turn it, turn it. Oh no, Oh, we've turned around now. So I'll take over. <laughs> you take over. Okay. I don't think it helps because I'm smaller than you. Yeah. There's this freaking, look at this paw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, nothing. Yeah. But it feels really heavy in the water. Oh yeah, because of the drag of the water. Alright, shall I take over then? Because I think we've got to get back. Yeah. Need to park up now. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> we have stopped off at the M&S garage to pick up a few supplies uh, just for mornings and evenings. Some watermelon. Got a magazine, I never read magazines anymore, but I thought it might be quite nice to read in the morning outside in the sun. Oh, I might get myself I'm really thirsty, I might get myself one of these. So I forgot we actually do need to be able to have breakfast in the morning, so I picked up some porridge oats, which I could have annoyingly bought from home. I was really prepared apart from apart from food stuff, so got some porridge, some berries, get a nice cream. I might actually get myself a calico for the first time. It goodness knows how long. Strawberry and vanilla? No, I'm gonna go original. The orange. Putting you guys at this angle so Duncan can uh, use his mirrors. Yeah, that looks like a, yeah. So we've been trying to find our Airbnb. Pulled into the wrong driveway. Didn't quite fall right, but there we go. We've made it. We've just been shown around the little annex that we're staying in. It's so lovely here. Should we do a little little house tour, a little Airbnb house tour? This is the kitchen. We've got the living room area. Got some fresh sunflowers. This is where we're staying, by the way, I can tell you because once this vlog goes up, I'll be, we'll be back home. This is the place on Airbnb. I really know how you'd find it. I guess I could link it if you guys are interested. Um, but yeah, this is where we're staying. Let's open this. There we go. Out here is one of the one of the main selling points for me when I booked this place. Is it's just got a really lovely outside area. So if it's nice weather, like we're having, you can enjoy being outside. You can tell we live in a flat and don't and don't have a garden, and we miss it because. Most weekends we spend it in Doug's parents' garden and going away I wanted to make sure we had somewhere outside that we could be in. Got a lovely little table and chairs. Got have a little snoop round here. So our bedroom is up there and you have to go um, out of here. Not great, not great in the winter. Perfect for the summer though. You have to go out and then up some stairs that are outside. There's a little pond over there. We have a seat, another seating area, some sun beds if you wanted to bathe fire pit. And then, oh, I've got grass all in my shoes. And then we step up here. This is our view. Not too shabby. And Doug's already got a beer in his hand. <laughs> on my holidays. On your holly bobs. Yeah. Uh, uh, not too bad, is it? No. No. Didn't realise the garden would be this big. Walking along and I could see all these little apples. And I looked up and there's an apple tree. <laughs> Go show them upstairs. Because upstairs is uh, kind of the equivalent to an attic room, I guess. Um, and you can go up these stairs. And so, because, because it's been hot weather, look how pretty the house is. All the houses are so pretty around here. Obviously, it's gotten very hot in here, but I'm hoping it gets a bit chilly and we can leave the windows open later and it will let in some cool air. So, you come in here to wardrobe. Oh, and in here, in here is the bathroom. So, we've got a shower and a sink, a bathroom, standard thing. <laughs> and through here we have the bed, lovely view. 
but yeah as you can see it's all glass and it's got um v-lux windows so it gets hot perfect spot to do my makeup thought it smelled nice in here they even got neon diffusers i love a bit of neon that's everything really and we've got a tv in here as well we didn't even need to worry about getting coffee because there's some fresh coffee here she's left us some milk been getting a few updates from delilah she's been having i think they've been oh they've been over at ben and melissa's her having some lunch earlier and she's been outside Doug just looked at the train times because we're going to get a train back into Oxford rather than drive and try and find parking. The problem is, not only is there a bus replacement, is it a bus replacement still? Yeah. Yeah. So they've got bus replacements on at the moment. Um, they seem to only be running once an hour. So we either get the bus uh, at 10 past 6 or 10 past 7. So we're rushing now to get the 10 past 6 one. I'm just going to quickly top up my makeup. I've had this makeup on since, well, for almost 12 hours now. I've been blowing my nose... <laughs> Doug flushing the loo. Um, I've been blowing my nose constantly. My, um, my hay fever has been really bad today and it is so sore. You know when you have a cold and it actually stings. Like, that's what my nose feels like. And I'm just feeling very hot and sweaty. The reason why I'm crouched down here is because um, the sun is coming right through the window and if I stand up <laughs> or sit on the bed to look in the mirror it's really it blinds me so i'm just gonna have to crouch down here and look in the mirror i've got my max uh my mac prep and prime fix plus stuff to freshen me up at this Ooh. don't have any time to faff around anymore i've changed my jeans because my other ones were just really baggy and i just needed something comfy for the car i'm not going to change my top because um i just yeah i'm just going to keep this top on so i'm more, much more comfortable in this <laughs> i know okay we're going <laughs> we're getting a tad confused by buses and where we need to go and change over or where we need to get one from or whether we've missed one <laughs> the only downfall of not getting an airbnb in central oxford so we're just trying to figure out what the best route is finally there's a bus coming in the distance <laughs> Buses here. Wow. Oh my god. Oh, charge my phone. We can't. Why can't? Oh, it charges. It yes. Oh my gosh. As you can see, we are on another bus. <laughs> we went to. We had a little ten-minute journey to one bus stop um, into a lovely little town. I mean, let's face it. Every everywhere we've seen so far is lovely. We're on another bus to Oxford City Centre. So um, we've got maybe about 20 minutes from here. But I'm like, so, I'm major impressed by these buses. One, there was contactless, which I we, none of our buses in our town have contactless. It's not like we're a small town or anything. You can charge your phone. And the sockets here as well, USB ports. I, I'm rather impressed. like the perfect temperature sun's gone sun's gone away a little bit love some evenings anyway getting sidetracked gonna have a little wonder and there because i feel like we've been in the car all day went to swim in and then drove here and then we've just been on two buses i'm um, so gonna have a little wonder we're gonna find somewhere to eat day. sat in a pond all day yeah or oh, stuck did all the work we're find somewhere to eat so we're gonna have a little look around to see if we can find somewhere that's not a chain restaurant Whenever we go away, we like to try and find coffee shops and restaurants and cafes that aren't your standard chain restaurant. We've given up a little. We're tired, we're hungry. <laughs> we don't know how long it's gonna take us to get back later. So we have settled for this place, which looks like a pizza place. It looks quite nice. Never seen it before. I'm gonna give it a go. Hi, do you have a table for two of you? Yeah. I really like this place, it has a nice vibe, we've got the guys in the kitchen cooking just there and um, the menu's nice and simple. I'm going to go for something really really basic and I'm just going to go for a classic tomato mozzarella and basil pizza. Thank you. This is so good and we've even got this homemade super fresh pesto to dip the crust in and it's just the best. Uh, yeah, 
like it, babe. Yeah. <laughs> when people heckle at me when I'm vlogging. We are done in Franco, what was it? Franco something. We went super hungry so it was just, just kind of what we needed. Just cheap and cheerful but it was like really good, really good food. I saw homemade tiramisu on the menu and I love a bit of tiramisu. So I asked if they would do us one to take away and they did. We are walking down to the river now. I thought we'd have a little sunset stroll down there. Enjoy a bit of tiramisu together. Oh. Huh. That's where we're going tomorrow. Mission slightly unsuccessful. We've gotten to this bridge, which is very lovely, and it's that time of night where the sun's going down. Or just, well, it's golden hours, so the lighting is perfect. There's nowhere for us to just chill. Um, and so we're going to walk back the other way, grab a taxi, go back to our Airbnb. Get ready for bed and then get an early night because I'm absolutely shattered. I've had two late and not very good sleeps the last couple of nights. So this is where we're going tomorrow. I want us to hopefully we can get an outside table. Yeah. It'd be nice if we can get like right by the river. <laughs> That's very pretty here. Cheers, have a good night. jumpers on it's a bit chilly now <laughs> and i said to doug earlier do you think i'll get cold he went no 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 it won't be cold later so i didn't bring my jumper out with me and luckily we got home just in time uh, before it started to feel a bit nippy outside and take the shoes off we've literally had these shoes on since eight o'clock this morning it's better Ooh, all comfy now it is so quiet come up to the bedroom and I thought I could hear a lot of sheep and then from here I can actually see the loads of sheep on the field over there it still looks really light outside it's not it's just this camera is very good in low light and all of those which just look like little fluffy clouds but well, there's a sheep it's so pretty with all the fairy lights I haven't turned the lights on because I don't want any <laughs> creepy crawlies to come in here it is starting to cool down the sun is gone, there's a nice uh, nice cool breeze in the air and we've got this window open. don't know if you can see how pretty that view is. Uh, not really, but it's like it's such a pretty sunset over there. Yeah, I've got this open so I don't want to turn the lights on because I don't want any bugs to come in here. Um, but I think it is finally starting to cool down. Luckily you can still see me even though it's much darker in here than the camera's letting off. just need to get my makeup remover. I got very excited about some new travel bottles and my label maker. In here, you probably can't see it, I've got my body wash and in here I've got my face cleanser which you can't see but they're in these very cute blue and brown bottles and I have I have labelled them, yeah you can't see them. I thought I could hear some banging out here, I was like what is Doug doing? Turns out someone's letting off fireworks over there, they're probably going to stop now. Anyway, I am going to go. Oh, oh, they're going off again. There's some fireworks happening. Oh, you can't even see them they're going on behind the tree there. I'm gonna go downstairs and get myself a herbal tea. As you can see, we tucked up in bed now. We're just laying here watching some rubbish telly, and then fireworks have started going off literally. <laughs> right near our window in the next garden. And there's some fireworks going on over there as well. People are loving the fireworks tonight. Why is it bad relationship? I don't know much about it. We just do the best we can. Yeah. And we love each other. It's time for me to end part one of these uh these Oxford vlogs. See you guys tomorrow for day two. We found something a little bit more decent to watch than the Keith Keith Lemon show. <laughs> So we're going to watch this uh, John, John Bishop in talk or something. And I think I'm going to sleep very well. It's very comfy bed. It's nice and peaceful. Ah, oh, it's been a nice day. So, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.